So today, I want to go see Sing a Bit of Harmony. Before I get into the proper review, I just want to mention that I saw the English dub. Unfortunately, I slept through the show time for the Japanese dub. And I recommend going to see the Japanese dub for an anime 95% of the time. Don't bother seeing the English. Uh, this might turn into more of a, a review on my opinions on anime in some shapes and some forms. So I might as well just say that if you're an anime watcher and you watch the dub, I don't know why you do that. That's your thing. And watching the Japanese dub is my thing. Mostly just because I just think the English dubbing community or, you know, the business is just really stale. And this movie was exemplified, uh, definitely exemplified some of that. Uh, I, and I'll get into it <clears throat> before I get uh, before I get to that stuff. Uh, Sing a bit of harmony by Yososhiro Yoshiura. Uh, was a 2021 movie came out in Japan, obviously, and typically what it is it's about a girl named Satomi. Uh, she's a high school girl, and her mom is developing an AI intelligence uh, robot. She generally works with AI, like it's like the future, the kind of like a future setting, like nearby future, like maybe the next 50, 50 odd years, maybe. Uh, her mom is developing this AI, and her team is creating this robot. And the robot, is a high school girl, like robot, and they're going to send her into the high school setting without telling anyone about it, not even officials or even the school for that matter, and just to see uh, if they notice she's a robot or not. And uh, her name, the robot's name, is Shion. And so, day one, Satomi and her friends realize Shion is a robot immediately. Uh, mostly because Shion saw an image of her on her mom's computer beforehand, but that's neither here or there. Uh, movie starts with Shion. Uh actively trying to make Satomi happy as, like, an obsessive compulsion just to fulfill that one duty, and no one's really understanding why. Uh, so the first half of this movie is mostly just high school hijinks, trying to keep everyone from figuring out that Shion is a robot. Otherwise, everyone kind of just goes about their day just thinking like, oh, she's the cute high school girl, new high school girl. So it's pretty funny. And then the um, the last third of the movie uh, goes from that like funny hijinks, funny stuff to shit's getting real. Got to get some stuff going. Got to beat the bad guy, whatever, quote unquote, bad guy. So that's like the basic gist of the movie. So for now, I'm going to be talking about not so much spoilers. I mean, I'll pro I most likely will say some like spoilery things. In fact, I know I will. But I'm just going to talk about some more general things. Um, for one, I want to talk about... Uh, I want to get this out of the way. English dub, like I said before, do not like it. And I already said enough about that. I just don't like the English dub. But it's much more prevalent in this movie... Uh, for one particular reason, and that is the fact that Shion, I'm not sure if she has two actresses playing her, one voice, one singing, uh, so much as I can tell on the Wikipedia site, there was just one girl listed as the English voice actor, but that's neither here nor there, because the singing in this movie, it's like a musical, which it did have some, it did have like one song I actually really did like, otherwise it was just kind of just like really explosive, explosive, happy, go lucky singing, just really cheesy, corny crap. Didn't care for it except for one song. Um, but Shion has a English singing voice, and I'm ninety percent sure that the same voice played in the English dub for her singing is the same as the Japanese dub. I think that the Japanese dub has an English voice for uh, the singing portions. And it is 
even when even watch especially even watching the English dub, her voice completely changes from voice from talking to singing. It's like a completely different voice. And I guess I'll just get into it because I said I would. Um, that's been a trend I've noticed in a couple anime recently. Example, like definitely the most horrendous example for me was in Doctor Stone, where the girl was singing, um, like from outer space, and it was broadcast or whatever. Uh, like it was such a, uh, it, you know, the, the show is very Japanese. Like all the characters speak Japanese. And yet, there's this one girl who speaks English, not only sing, sings English, not only speaks Japanese, but sings English more remarkably well. Like, you can understand everything they're saying. They're not, it's not like funny Japanese English. Uh, but it's just really distracting to me, and I really don't like it. And I, I don't know if... English speakers have a problem with it as much as I do, or if even Japanese people play have a problem with it, because I know I think I'm assuming English is kind of like Japanese's second language, if not third, maybe I don't I'm not sure, and maybe they they like it more than I would, but it's just a matter of the just the the jaw dropping what the hell of it. It's just weird to. To hear. It's just a completely different voice. And it just kind of breaks the mood. Both in Dr. Stone and in this. Well, okay, maybe not so much this. Because the whole show is very... The whole movie is very cheesy. And... The singing is just over the top as hell. And it's just something I don't really appreciate. And it was just funny, and I was watch. It was funny watching this in English because I was paying attention specifically to the lip syncing, and you know, short of you know the limited animation that they got away with, it was pretty obvious that she was definitely singing in English, even in even if you were watching this in the Japanese version. And I just think that's weird. Why can't why why wouldn't she just sing in English? I mean, uh, Japanese. It's just distracting for me. It's a personal pet peeve of mine. I went on way too long about that, but point is, don't like it. There was um, one character in particular. Uh, his name was. You know, another thing I don't like about uh, English dubs is they tend to lean so heavily on the um the japanese like setting that even in english dubs they go out of their way to uh call characters by their honorifics like chan and san and whatever well mostly chan i don't i, I don't think they even do that with in english if they call him san but in this it was kind of obnoxious listening to it uh, the characters, one character's name was Gochan, and it just comes across weird to me in English. Like, it's fine if the Japanese say it, but it's just weird if you're saying it in English. It's just like you're going out of your way to call a character by a Japanese honor for Like, just stop. Uh, but anyway, uh, the character Gochan was probably the best character in the movie. He was very... What's the word? Um stale in that he he spoke his mind he said he had some really funny lines uh pointing out obvious like problems with what was going on the problem like anything that i was thinking like oh this is corny or this makes no sense like he'll be the one saying that he was the uh audience surrogate in a couple ways and he was really funny uh other than him there weren't a lot of standout performances or characters, really. I mean, besides Shion, Shion was like, you know, an adorable uh, AI who, aside from, you know, obsessively compul uh, compulsing over the whole making Sotomi happy shtick, um, she was a pretty funny and eccentric character. She just has the ability to talk to uh, other AI. Like, there's AIs that are garbage cans, bus drivers, uh, like 
you know, home security systems, and she's able to, like, communicate with them. Uh, there's, like, these um, uh, judo robots who help the judo team with practice. Uh, she's able to, like, when when the when the robot is broken, she's able to like talk to the robot and pick up on all of the techniques and programming of the uh, of the robot and just copy it verbatim. And that led into the pro one I thought was the funnest uh, song number because it was very like jazzy, and the whole point of the the um, the scene was to help the judo guy Thunder. Uh, better at his judo he had a match coming up um and like they were dancing but it was like oh we're training but no we're totally fucking dancing so it was weird it was funny and cute though the i i i know i've mostly talked about the negatives um i guess what i'll do is i'll talk okay i'm gonna talk about the last like kind of like bad thing, this negative feeling thing about this movie, and then I'll close it off. So the at the ending of the second act there is a scene where everything's found out by the company who was making the robot and they put a stop to all the kids shenanigans and everything and the, the tone shift in this was like astronomical like the whole tone of the movie was like down or up here and the tone just went way down way down we went from funny hijinks singing cool stuff making people happy to my mom is drunk and throwing crap into a mirror because she's so goddamn upset it was pretty bad i like i understand like when shit goes wrong you don't see it coming and you know the mood can flip on a dime like that just out of nowhere but i guess i would have appreciated more tension in this movie like if it was if they just brought up enough of a problem or at least made us more aware of the mom's like um, if the mom was more worried about the whole thing, uh, screwing her up, there would have been better tension for that when it came up. And it for just a moment, it just seemed like really off, like just it just sank way too quick. And then it gets resolved like really easily. You'd think you'd think the mom would need a little bit more convincing because it was kind of Satomi's fault that shit kind of went the way it did. Uh, but also it was no one's fault in a, in a way. So other than that and the English speaking and this, the overall corniness, this movie wasn't bad. I liked it. The one th character, one little thing I loved about the, uh, she um was you find out late in the movie that she's actually been an uh ai that's been surfing the internet since uh satomi was a little girl like you know like a five-year-old or eight-year-old i don't know and when uh, satomi was watching uh this show i'm not i don't remember what it's called i can't find it through some you know a couple searches on the internet i'm just gonna call her galaxy girl there was this uh video game called galaxy girl or something uh, that Satomi like just grew up loving and obsessing over, and you know, uh, I forgot to mention Shion was like initially like a Tamagotchi AI, and Satomi would hang out with Shion as that Tamagotchi the whole time, and uh, Shion grew from that experience, and eventually uh, Shion was like flushed into the internet. And she would watch Satomi from a distance uh, through cameras and such and just watch her grow up her entire life. And there is this montage of Shion watching uh, Satomi through the um, the years. And she, she had this avatar of the galaxy girl. And 
she would talk to Shion. I mean, uh, Satomi, Shion would talk to Shion, like, I guess in her head, like she was monologuing to herself, Shion. And it was just really adorable watching this galaxy girl, like, audibly talk to Shion, uh, you know, th in her own head. But it was just this really cute montage and just the idea of using the the uh the galaxy girl as like an avatar for yourself was cute up until she got like an actual physical avatar and i guess yeah other than that this movie was fine uh i put it uh just below scream for me and above uh the uh poopel and the chimney town a uh, solid movie I'd rather have watched the uh, Japanese dub, but beggars can't be choosers. You got to work with what you got. All right. uh, thank you for watching.